And the winningest coach by percentage in college volleyball in the country, Heather Olmstead, is in studio with us. Ahead of the U21 USA National Team Assistant Coaching Gig, got in Louisiana and Mexico coming up. Great to have you back in the studio. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You, this is like a thing you do. You're, a, you're in the USA coaching pool, which is super fun. Obviously, Karch Karai is the senior national team coach in gold medal. That's awesome. U21. So is there a U23 team, or is this essentially like – the the B team preparing to try and get on the senior yeah, team. Yeah, this is an extension of of the national team. It's the uh, under twenty one group that is definitely in the pipeline for the senior women's national team. What's cool about this opportunity, and I'm blessed and, and lucky to be a part of it, that I get to learn from Karch and his staff. The cool thing is, is that we are going to be in Louisiana alongside the VNL, where the senior women's team is going to be competing that's next awesome. week. So that's a huge opportunity for our coaching staff. I get the opportunity to learn from great coaches within our own coaching staff, but you get to watch the senior women's national team. We're going to watch some matches against Brazil and Canada and Dominican. Yeah. Huge opportunity for the girls on our team. What kind of things do you pick up as a coach? Because you're very successful at being a coach. Do you come back going, hey, there's a couple things I never thought of? Absolutely, yeah. If, if I'm not going to learn and to get better and to bring things back to BYU, I'm not doing my job. So looking for things within our staff, like I mentioned, I get to work with uh, Dan Fisher, who I've worked with before, John Newman, uh, and just a wonderful staff. All, all the way around, and the players, the things you can learn from the players by listening and by observing, it's, it's hopefully going to make me a better coach here at BYU to bring back for our team for this fall. Is it fun or awkward uh, with Dan? Because at Pitt, obviously, this is a team that you know won a couple times. Are you like, I don't want to hear it, Dan? Um, you know, it's interesting because uh, we'll be seeing him again this fall possibly so oh, okay we, now, i see what you did there a maybe a little promo visit we've okay. been spending a lot of time together so I we, like we have a great relationship i'm grateful for the opportunity to work with with this staff and again karch's staff and it'll be fun now what i love about volleyball is that everyone's just chill okay it's more chill you don't have nick saban and uh jimbo fisher situations here like you could be like <sighs> I don't want to deal with Pitt. You got, you know, Maybe we should create something on the road. And yes. Like you're totally drama. that type kind of, of a per- thing. No, okay. you're like the exact opposite, which is funny. Um, I want to talk about Karch for a sec. Obviously, there's history there with your dad, Rick, coaching him in high school to a championship. Sean talks about this amazing photo where he's got he's being held by a baby. Where, where are you in this moment? Um, <laughs> as far as my relationship from the, from with Karch? The, like the high school situation oh, at that time i wasn't born you weren't even born yeah, yet thank you so Sean- Makes me feel young <laughs> yes i, was I know not born. you weren't even born yet no i was not yeah but i remember growing up and going to avp events and 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 actually karch calling our house quite a bit and being like hey dad karch is calling you like just idolizing him to going to watching him play professionally to these gold medals to being the national team coach to learning from him and having him be a mentor of mine i mean it's it's been an incredible journey for me to to be around karch he's such a an amazing leader, what he's doing with the national team. I mean, gold medal last summer, incredible. It was awesome. We're in this wave on campus the last few years of dominant sports, and a lot of these players are going to the national stage. We're seeing it in soccer and seeing it in volleyball, uh, of making a name for themselves at the next level and, and kind of bringing BYU's reputation with them. Yeah, it's exciting. We've got two of those players this summer in Aaron Livingston and Heather Knighting yeah. that are going to go play on the collegiate national team. That's another cool opportunity for them because – the national team will be in Anaheim training in June, uh, I think back from the VNL or a break between, and they'll be able to, to see the national team train and get to train a week there. And so, yeah, w- we want to do everything we can to help the, the players that come into our program get better and achieve their goals and dreams. And if USA is one of them, we're right there with them, supporting them, and we want to get them out there. Absolutely. And they're two of, uh, you know, your, your talented team that you're bringing back, which we're excited about. It was such a fun season last year. Uh, and then you bring in five newcomers, uh, you know, Hannah Billiter, Eden Bauer, Briley Decker, Natalie Moravec, and Kate Pryor, who are all in the top 150, which is exciting. You, you continue to recruit at a high level. Yeah, we're excited about the 22 class. We had three of them here in the winter, so that was cool to get a train with them and get them in the gym and, and bring them up to speed. And then we have two transfers as well, as Kelsey Knudsen and um, Abby Olson, who will be joining us this fall. So really seven, seven newcomers. I think a lot of new faces for the fans that they can get excited about. Kelsey's from uh, St. Mary's, yep. was that right? And then uh, where's Abby? Abby played from? at Wyoming and just got married. Congrats. And Wyoming, okay. Tion, very nice. last week, Saturday. Oh, to Tion Taylor? Yeah. Oh, of the men's volleyball. Yeah. Very nice. That's so. exciting. This is uh, an interesting time for Gordon Eakin, the softball coach, having been left out of the NCAA tournament after being so good, at, at a program record number of wins. Um, but the strength of the WCC didn't give him any help. 
uh, in, in getting into the tournament. You've been a victim of the WCC as well as being a dominant team, a national team, and get seated 11th or, or just not where, where, um, where you want to be. It's your last year in the WCC, and then you go to the Big 12. Are you looking forward to that switch? Because obviously the competition's greater in the Big 12. And, and how do you find the balance of being the big fish over here, being a more competitive fish over here, and having it benefit in the postseason seedings? Yeah, we're super excited about our last season in the West Coast Conference. We we love the conference. We love the coaches, the camaraderie, the players that we play against. It's the road just, trips. The road trips, the weather. Everything's just been such a, a joy <laughs> for us. We have loved the West Coast Conference, and so we're looking forward to – Going out with a bang, we want this this group to to understand that this is it for the West Coast Conference, and let's let's go out being remembered for uh, hopefully something really good and special. How good can this group be? And so let's let's go out with a bang. But we also have control over um, those things and in how we schedule. And so this little little teaser for our non-conference schedule we're going to release pretty quickly. That's it's twice now, and uh, you're getting me real excited because <laughs> this morning point. I was going, hey. I want a volleyball schedule. I want a soccer schedule. It's coming so soon. At least put and at yeah. least some of the Big 12. Okay, um, obviously the Big 12 Texas is the, the big fish, and David Hunt from the men's volleyball team with Pepperdine is now the associate head coach. So I was texting with him, and I was like, hey, at least we'll still be hanging out, uh, at least for two years, right? What, what is w- Without looking too far ahead, because you want to win the WCC and win the national championship, how, how does uh, knowing you're going to be in the Big 12 affect anything at all with you, whether it be recruiting or mm-hmm. vision of the program or whatever? Yeah, absolutely. We, we talk about it constantly. Our administration uh, meets with us, talks about it. We're having conversations as a staff and as a team. Not so much the team focused on it because we're focused right. on the West Coast Conference this year, but for sure all our 23 recruits and, and older, all it is is about the Big 12 and the opportunities that they're going to get to play. So we're, we're having those conversations. We're basically doing an overhaul of our program. Where are we? Where have we been? Where do we want to go? How are we going to get there? And what does that look like financially, recruiting, staffing, anything and everything is being talked about. And we want to make some serious upgrades so we can go into the Big 12 ready to go and ready to compete. Mm, I look forward to whatever that means because it feels like things are going really well. So I'm not uh, – <laughs> yeah. the, the, the like, upgrade. I'm like, change? what upgrades? Because <laughs> um, you have new offices. You know, yeah, the whole deal. Uh, that's great uh, because if you're Sweet 16 and, and we can do better, well, let's go, man. Let's go. Well, have fun in Louisiana. Have fun in Mexico. Well, fun's an interesting word. You're going to be very busy, but enjoy uh, great weather, Thank you. I suppose. I'm looking forward yeah. to it. I appreciate it. It'll yeah. be just around the corner. You're back, back in action. Yep. In August. A couple yep. of months. Let's go. Okay. Thanks, Heather. All right, coming up uh, is nine wins the minimum for BYU football in, in your option. Do you think nine wins is the minimum? You thinking about that? Nine's like, you can Heather's text like, Kalani later. Heather's like, we want nine wins in August. <laughs> and rise and shout out to fans showing up and showing out. This is BYU Sports Nation.